Once again, it is that time to do a crazy challenge. Now this one is another special Bro, did you see this guy just like, hey, Dan, look at him go, dude. What is that? That caught me off guard. I, don't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Either way, this challenge is another special challenge, much like Too Many Zooka, much like Zip It to Win It. But I would have to say, this one seems pretty fun. Inkjets for everyone. A high-flying inkjet battle. Take to the air with your inkjet special and splat it out the sky. You can only use weapons that come with the inkjet special. The special gauge will fill up quickly all by itself. And only primary gear abilities will be enabled. Secondary abilities will have no effect. Now, this is going to be a sky battle, and I am looking at the weapons of choice that we have right now. There are only so many to pick from. Looking at it right now, the favorites are probably going to be the Bullpoint, the Tri Slosher, and maybe the Rapid Blaster Deco. I mean, considering it is Splat Suns, maybe not many people will pick this weapon, but probably people will pick the Anarchy Nova, honestly. I think I'm going to pick the Anarchy Nova because honestly, this weapon is such an inkjet farm in the first place. Using it in this scenario is probably going to get me more inkjets than anybody else. Now, one thing I'm also going to add is something with Drop Roller. I definitely need some more drop roller shoes because none of these really look good, but I guess eh, these are all right, I guess. I'll just wear these. But either way, I think drop roller is going to be very, very helpful here. So let's get into it. Now, of course, I must say this once again. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel because your boy does a lot of Splatoon 3 content. All right, so we're heading into my first game of Inkjet. Inkjet. Oh my god, wait, a lot of people are using Anarchy Nova. <laughs> this is a full squad of tri slushes. Okay, uh, I am not going towards the middle because of that, dudes. A full squad of tri slushes. All right. Well, Inkjet will be from the left. I'm just going to go ahead and use it straight away. This guy's just holding on to his. Might be able to get him. Oh, he's weak. He's going to Inkjet now, though. Do it. Ah, there it is. There it is. All right, we bait it out. Now, the thing with Inkjet is just that whenever somebody uses one, you just run away. All right, I'm going to Inkjet here. Oh, I shot him. I think I shot him out this guy. <laughs> but we're chilling. Goodbye, my sir. I mean, dude, whatever. <laughs> my teammates have put mines all over the zone. You know, I mean, that's. I think that's the right idea, to be honest. So you might as well. All right. Shoot this guy out the sky. Goodbye. Oh, if I can slap this guy. No, oh, dang it, dude. That's probably one of the hardest things to do with Inkjet in general. It's just being able to shoot someone who is also in an Inkjet out of the sky i mean when you do it the the feeling of it is just amazing but like man it's no easy feat take this get out of here all right we've evened up the game i think we just neutral here there we go goodbye oh they're swimming here oh well unfortunately i'm early well i get two at least Maybe it would be nice, instead of like me running like run speed and swim speed, I mean I might keep the run speed, but like I think what would be really nice is just have like more special power up, or maybe just a main a special power up, because I mean considering you're getting your inkjet so fast, you might as well just power up the inkjet. And since we're already fighting in the sky, I mean the swim speed, run speed is not gonna really matter too much, so. But either way, that's the first game, I mean we only had... So many inkjets there. Now I feel like my goal here today is to try and snipe at least two guys out of their inkjet while I am in my own inkjet. If I could do that, that's gonna be baller. So let's see. I mean, to be honest, I feel like run speed is nice just for the Nova, but like if I'm gonna use special power up, I think it removes the swim speed and then we'll just go off from there, all right? I'm actually surprised. There's not, no one's using bullpoint. I mean, okay, look, it's been two games, but there's not a lot of Bullpoint. I mean, I think Bullpoint would be pretty decent, but I'm gonna, like, inject straight away. Oh. Oh. Just shot him out, this guy. Oh. Oh, can you imagine if I did that, too? That would have been cool. Don't do it. It's so... Oh, okay, a nice little direct there. I didn't kill that guy, too. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so satisfying when you're in an inkjet battle and then you shoot one out the sky. I think the thing or the key with me trying to shoot guys out the sky is like basically relaxing, just keeping my crosshair still and then like just sidestepping and then um trying to what's that called? We're both dead. <laughs> basically strafing with my inkjet and then shooting because I feel like instead of like whipping the crosshair all around, it like makes it so much harder to actually hit the shot. So we finally found our first few bull points there are now three so i guess this is where they are i need to stop like being like oh my god there's been no bull points 
plays two games. It's just like, come on, man, relax. I feel like there's no, not really much point to use a bullpoint. Woo! All right, cool. I was gonna say, there's really not really much point to use a bullpoint. You paint fast, but like, I feel like you just paint faster with a Nova, so it might as well just use this instead, so. Oh, oh, oh. That one's hard to hit, dude. That last game we had with the triple Nova, that was, uh, that was a game, let's just say. All right. Oh. Oh, I barely missed him, dang it. He pushes this, he pushes this. No, he doesn't. He inkjets instead. I got my other inkjets to support me here. And then I use an inkjet for myself. Oh, okay. There's three of them, man. There's three of them. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna lie. When there are three inkjets in the sky, I felt nothing but just so safe while I was also in the sky. Dude, this is actually... It's so ridiculously hard to hit an inkjet snipe, man. It's just like... If you can do it consistently, then hell yeah, dude. More power to you. Doing one, it's not, it's not easy. Come on! Come on! Oh, it's so hard, dude. It's so hard. Oh god, it's so hard. No. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I'm doing it by myself. If I could neutral the zone by myself, though. Oh, neutral it. Neutral it. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. Oh, they're gonna get take the zone straight away back. Oh, oh, oh my god. How has this happened? Paint. I gotta do this by myself. They're just going for the zone instead. Oh, come on, dude, there's three guys in the sky. Like, that was such a crazy route. Like, not only is it just that it's just hard to hit a guy out the sky, it's just that when you're one inkjet facing three at the same time, that is just like... Ugh. Like, you really gotta hit one. I had 14 friggin' inkjets in that one game, dude. 14. 14! He's just trying to shoot people out the sky with his bullpoint. That's just not the way to do bullpoint. Fighting an inkjet is so risky. Like, if you're- if the inkjet's not already looking at you, it's so, so risky. No, oh, dude. But we traded! We did trade, alright. Oh, I hit one, that's good. Not having drop roller, weird, very weird. We're gonna get him now. Lol. <laughs> oh. Out the sky. If I could hit the other one, there we go, two again, back to back. That's what I'm saying, like, if you're to hit three inkjets in, with one inkjet, that's insane. You have to hit the first two shots, and then hope there's another inkjet in play. Hitting one shot is just, like, hard enough, so it's just like, dang, dude. I'm glad that I'm evil. I'm, I'm just glad that I'm actually just able to do at least one. Ooh, okay, you died. Doing one is just hard enough. Bam. No, dang it, dude. You can kind of tell, like, who knows how to use inkjet, who doesn't. There's some situations where I'm noticing some people using inkjet when they have, like, three guys looking at them and they're not really in a safe space and they don't even really know who to look at. Got my inkjet ready. There's, like, four inkjets in play. Out of there. I got two at least out of that. I mean, this is why I just think, like... Hitting four inkjets out of the sky is just like, that's like a dream. <laughs> it's actually a dream right now. I'm not saying that it can't happen, but like, the chances of it happen, the probability of it even like, being possible to, to, to happen. Like, so many things have to go right. Okay, well this is an interesting spot. I don't know how useless I am right here. I definitely feel it. At least I got one. Oh, I got two. Never mind. Honestly, the most popular weapon, to be honest, from the amount of games that I played today, it's definitely gonna be the Nova, the, uh, the Nova. Surprising, to be honest. As long as they don't see me, everything is fine. They're like all here, dude. Oh! Oh, God! Okay, I'm gonna roll out. Ah! Ah, I'm alive! <laughs> and if any of you guys in the comment section below have gotten a triple inkjet shot, let me know because I'll be please please I would like to see it. I'd like to see it because I just generally don't think it's gonna be something that's so common. But if you guys did do it, I mean, uh, let me know about it because uh, me seeing one or even getting one, like the chances of that happening, we, we all would like to see it. <laughs> maybe in this moment, the starting moment, getting a triple is actually possible because like you can maybe hit one guy at the sky and then like go for the next one. And since everyone's also all, like basically using Ninja in the first 10 seconds anyway. That's like your most like likely like case or point where you actually might be able to get 
like three guys potentially. Go ahead, dodge that. You know what? I'm going to territory that has not been explored. What if I use an inkjet from here, dude? Never mind. <laughs> well, you know what? We're not gonna give up. We're gonna go there again. They're not gonna see this one coming. I saw, I'm telling you. They're not gonna see this one coming because it's just like, why is this guy even here? Get out of here. Perfect two. Oh, we love to see it. There's the triple. That's all it took. I just have to get inside their base, literally. <laughs> Alright. Bam. Hi, guys. Oh, okay. Alright, that's all I could manage there. Alright, I'm being normal again. Oh, that guy's weak, though. Oh, there it is. There it is. I knew it was weak. There we go. Clean him up. Okay. Whoa, I just got sniped. Wait, no, I think that was an accident. At least I got one triple kill. So we got triple Nova, triple Trisosha. I think that first game that we played today was kind of incredible to actually have four Trisoshas on one team. Let's just say, like, maybe a little conclusion about this challenge, because I believe this is going to be my last game uh, for now. This challenge, very, very fun. Very, very fun. Like, as well, like, as with all of them, I think it's better, it's 100% better within the um, Zipcaster challenge. When, when you have, like, special challenges that don't really include the main weapon, which the Zipcaster, like, won really heavily included like it makes it more of a even playing field i feel like with this one especially since like any you could really use any weapon and get away with it like it doesn't really matter what weapon you use like i mean i guess rapid is a little bit weak in terms of like getting your inkjets fast but it's not all that bad like i, I mean the thing is the rapid can take out the inkjets out the sky really well at the same time so i think it's really fun i think it's a good challenge it's kind of like how tri triple Trizuka, the Trizuka challenge was, where that was also really fun, where it didn't really matter what weapon you use, you just Trizuka and then you're doing, you're, you're, you're going crazy, so. It's like definitely up there and then with one of the fun ones. It only makes me wonder what else that they could do. <laughs> Maybe do like a bomb rush challenge, like you can throw like more bombs than ever. That would be so annoying, can you imagine that? It's literally just like, woo, 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 woo. You might even lag the game like so hard doing that. But either way, I think that's going to be my session for today. I'm going to go take my roll. Uh, the shell out machine just to get one roll to see what I can get something good nothing good but either way I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like if you did enjoy it I know you haven't so you might as well do it now and subscribe to the channel for more as well if you do enjoy my Splatoon 3 content thank you very much let me know what you guys thought about this challenge too in the comment section below and yeah this has been dude that is me too dude and I shall see you guys in a future video